How's everyone today? I am not quite there yet. On so YouTube. our power went out yeah. and we just got it back. So there's not enough time for me to do something original. So I thought we have about maybe 30 minutes uh, till Donna has to go into a, a meeting. So I thought we would just do some sketches in my, this is my travel journal. And um, Here I have been just filling in the sketches and I haven't been actually journaling and I don't always get to finish. So this was a, I met my friend Tony Bancroft for coffee at a place called the Frothy Monkey. And I did the sketches in, oh. you know, while we were sitting. Hi all, good morning, good morning. You got some people painting with you too. Oh, thank you. Sorry we are so late. We had a power outage. Yeah, it was just a mess. It's been- Oh, it's thank been, you, Travis. It's been kind of a Monday, guys. <laughs> It's been kind of a Monday. You here. are not late. No one is late. We just, we had a power outage and instead of doing something new, I am just working in my, my travel journal. Yeah, we're sorry so, about that. So uh, I just, I figured out, we only got a little bit of time, but we wanted to say hi. Oh, thank you, Evertop Gaming. Um, there was a, I can't remember the name of the person and I apologize because the comments are moving so fast that wanted to know if they could also do a hair journal. You can do, I mean, yes, you can do, absolutely do a hair journal. Um, this is not a comic. What Scott's gonna do today, we, our power went out this morning at 7.30. We just got it back a few minutes ago and Scott was trying to find something to draw and it's just, it's a little so, forced today. We have some meetings These are These are my days. travel journals. And because I, I came up from comics, you will see sometimes panels. Sometimes you won't. But uh, every once in a while, I will break things up into panels like this. Um, it, this is just my travel journal and some, like you can see, sometimes it's a full page, sometimes it's two images, uh, sometimes it's three images. It just depends on how busy the day is and how many sketches that I wanna do. So this is, every page is different, you know? Um, this is a full page. This is two panels, this is three panels, this one's sideways. That's the, the joy of doing a sketchbook. And so this particular day, I was hanging out with my friend and uh, he, Tony Bancroft directed Mulan. He was also the lead animator of Kronk from Emperor's New Groove and Pumbaa from The Lion King and so many other films. So of course he was wearing a Kronk shirt and people asked him about it. And then I, of course, told them that he was the guy. Um, hey, neighbor and uh, Vanilla. <laughs> um, and then, uh, so of course, all of the, uh, the people at the Frothy Monkey kept bringing by receipts for him to do a drawing. So he was drawing a, he's drawing, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's Kronk. He was drawing Kronk for them. Okay, people are happy. Why did you have a power outage? Well, I called the power company and they said that the lines were down. They can't tell us if it was an accident or... Sabotage. Whatever. Yeah, well... I think it's sabotage. Yeah, that's it. Um, uh, God, you guys, I, I am sorry. This is just going to be by the seat of our pants today. So... Um, Scott has an art supply list at the link in his bio, and um, I'm sure the mods at some point will put that in for you. Um, how do you react when your drawing doesn't turn out as good as you expect? Um, for the most part, I will just turn the page and move on to the next thing. Every once in a while, if it's a painting, I, I made a video about it, but every once in a while, if it's a painting, I will sometimes just rip it up. Uh, other times it goes to my wall of shame, which is over in the corner. And, um, but it, sometimes like if it's in a sketchbook and like, ugh. so this is my Lord of the Rings sketchbook. And let's see here. 
and I can't tear these pages out. At least I wouldn't want to. Um, but this one was supposed to be Eowyn and it just doesn't look like her. And so I think what I'm gonna do is at some point I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna try to paint over it, maybe with some gouache and see if I could just do a better job. Other times you just kind of have to live with it. Um, Scott doesn't have any of the drawings he hates the most because he has torn them up and thrown them away. <laughs> um, so there you go. Um, and for everybody who said good morning, good morning. We are so grateful you are here. We, it just, it's a Monday guys. It is a Monday. Yeah, Monday really kind of Monday today. Uh, it really did. Um, Scott uses a um, the white Uniball Signo pen, yes. or he uses uh, the what's that white stuff in a bottle? Oh, it's the this ink here. There's a, a link in the bio for it. Okay. Blow dryer. Everybody wants to know how we are this morning. We are doing good. Uh, we had a power yeah. outage, we're and so <laughs> it was, outage. you know, like the whole house was dark, and we're like, okay, I guess. I, and I was in the middle of editing a photo, and okay, no, it was yeah. photo actually. Oh, I was I was putting together the uh, the black and white. You know, you don't realize how much you rely on your electricity until it goes out, and then you realize you've only brewed one cup of tea. Oh, that was horrible for Donna. Oh my God, you guys, I just had a meltdown. I had a meltdown at my desk, it was scary. But you know, it's, it's yeah, there's no internet because the router was out and anyway, it's a thing. So if we sound, well, if, let me rephrase that. Scott's gonna sound fine. If I sound a little flustered, now you know why. Um, we've got people here from Costa Rica. Oh, wow. We've got people here from India. Um, Oh, Katzen is painting Marcella by Ernst Ludwig Kirchner. That sounds interesting. Yeah, that sounds like you're doing your own study of the masters. Cheers from Bulgaria. Um, I'm a big fan. Hello, that's Vidhatra. Oh, thank you. Um, let's see. <laughs> the Vietnamese guys are back. That's Min. You're so funny. You inspire me to be a better artist. Oh, Man thank Man you. Man says hi, big hi from Germany. Hello. Um, hi everyone, I've been trying to paint my surroundings. It's helped my art a lot. Thank you. Oh, Marcella. great, great. Yeah, it really is fun to just sit and doodle. Samuel Haltunen is here. He's like, oh, it's a good thing you started late. Otherwise I would have missed it. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is for Samuel. Hi from Austria, that's Anna Jane. Love the travel journal. Oh, thank you. Um, so what I'm doing right now Molly is- Molly from Newfoundland is here. Hi Molly from Newfoundland. I am just filling in the basic colors. And then once I get all the basic colors, then I'll come in with those shadows and the lighting. Um, let's see. Blow dryer. <laughs> runs this company she just found it it's called the tea foundry and i highly recommend the scottish breakfast tea oh donna um, has been talking a lot about it lula <laughs> so um you made an impression uh, you did make an impression yes and i ran out this morning because i bought just the little like sample pack to try it to see if i liked it and i love it and i'm sad i ran out so i will be jumping on that website today and buying more um, the, all of the art materials that Scott has are in his art supply list. If you go to the about in my section, you'll yes. see it. Um, and it also says in each one of those sections, um, there's a link to where he buys the supplies. I wish they were sponsored. Unfortunately, they are not, but it is good. Um, let's see. 
Hi from North Carolina. You're Hello. the most creative man I have ever seen. I respect you. You're just incredible and realistic. Keep going, man. We will always support you. You are so very kind. That Thank you. That is very you. nice of you to say. Um, and Oak Seed says, I really look up to you. You're awesome. Thank you. And Pamela says, now that it's finally summer, I can watch your live streams. <laughs> And Omaima says, my greetings to the hot pool. Oh, thank you. Um, Evertop Gaming. Hey, Scott, can I draw your drawings? Of course. No post, I only want to draw. No, you can, anybody, anybody right here now, if you guys are listening, you have my 100% permission to copy anything you see of mine. Go to my DeviantArt page, copy anything you would like to. And then just mention that I copied Scott's art. It's always good to, if, if you, if you copy someone's art, just like when I did the 60 Days of Studying the Masters, is to just credit the original artist. Right. Sometimes I will see uh, on YouTube, people will take my videos and post them, and sometimes they will say, this is a video by Scott Saba, in which case I won't have a problem with it. Other times they just say, this is a video I made, and it's literally me in the video <laughs> talking, and then it's like, okay, then I'll do the copyright thing and, and have it taken down. So that's all any artist wants is, mm -hmm. hey, if you if you want to use my stuff, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Just like the photographer for the art journal, you actually emailed him and said, "Hey, would you mind if I yeah, you yeah. Know, painted your painting?" Your, your and and I'm guilty of this too because I have photos that I'll use from like you know 10, 15 years ago, and I'll forget <laughs> who 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 made it. Right. Um, Sometimes it's okay. Yeah, you try the best you can, and if you are going to do Scott's, just just do. Hey, thanks, Scott. I painted it. Whatever. Um, any ideas for still life sketches? I have an art competition coming up, but have no idea what to draw. Oh gosh. See, I would just Google that and find some photos that you like, or you can always make your own. I'm sure. Um, let's see. Do you know about the pinkest pink and the blackest black? What do you think about the colors that are meant to be so extreme? I like that kind of stuff. I'd love to try that one day. Um, we are doing well today. We are just a little, I'm a little frazzled. I've never heard of the pinkest pink though. I've heard of the blackest mm -hmm. black. I've never heard of the pinkest pink. Yeah. I'd love to see that. Our wonderful mods have put the art supply list in and the art hacks in. And thank you guys for being here, even though we're late. So sorry about that. Um, Jess is watching this while organizing an art draw for the hundredth time. Oh. Why do you use a kneaded eraser on the sketch? Why don't you use a normal eraser? Because a normal eraser is going to lift up, and there's a video on this too, but a normal eraser is going to lift up the inks. Not all the time, but it can. And if you spend time inking, you don't want to lift it up. Victoria says hello from Bulgaria. And hello. And Toka says greetings from Hungary. Hello, hello. Um, and Regions Ty says, I always watch your YouTube shorts. I like your artwork. They look so beautiful. Thank you very much. Um, let's see. Scott used to do digital art. He does not presently do digital art. Jesse Cookie's here. Hello and good afternoon from Germany. Oh, hello. Um, How is see. Germany? It's amazing to see some of the artists in the live chat. It really is. And just for the record, um, all of our mods do art in one form or another, and they are incredibly talented people. Really, incredibly talented people. Um, let's see. It's afternoon for us in England. Chip, chip. Cheerio. <laughs> it's time for some tea. Did you learn to draw from someone else or did you teach yourself? Uh, both. Both. I, I, I learned to draw from my mom. I went to, I had art classes in high school. I went to art school and then I have 30 years of teaching myself. Um, oh, Bethany's heard of Pink is Pink by Stuart Semple. I have some. It's pretty great. Hmm. I loved your idea of portrait collaboration with your friends. Wonderful idea. That's Tulsi. I can't take credit for that. That was all Nikki's idea. She reached out to me and I thought it was really fun. Oh. It was a bit confusing. My friend Brimstone says good morning, Scott and Donna, with a big heart. Hello. Heart's right back at ya. Angela just says, just want to say thank you for noticing me on Twitter earlier. Really meant a lot. I was the one that tagged you and thanking you for your hair technique. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for tagging me. Hello, I love your channel and artwork. That's Bites the Dusto. Thank you very much. Jelly Cat's here and says, hi. Hey there, this is great so far. Oh, thank you. Robin says, how are you today? I love your art. I'm good, thank you. Uh, I He's am... good, I'm frazzled. <laughs> um, it's all good. 
from the Philippines. That's Andrea. Thank you. It's raining, so it's really gray, says Chessie Cookie. It is raining here and really gray here, too. And it was so sad because it was dark when all the lights, when all the power went out. So I was going around trying to find out what would be the best thing to use for my desk <coughs> to light it so I could try to do some work. I went upstairs and finally had to get a book light and put new batteries in it, which, by the way, works really well. Oh, if, good. Uh, if the power goes out, yeah. Blow dryer. <laughs> So I want you all to see the different phases of my sketchbook. So this is, we went to Florida, what about a month ago? Yes, a month ago. And you can see I did some pencil sketches. I did not have time to do inking. Mm -mm. Um, here you can see I inked it, but I did not get a chance to paint it. Paint it. Um, these are pages from when we went to Chattanooga. Mm -hmm. And I have not had a chance to write, write in it. Mm -hmm. um, and so these are, I, I don't like my sketchbooks being like this. I like to finish a page and move to the next one. But sometimes you just don't have time to. Yeah. And these are pages where, mm -hmm. you know, I've, I've finished them up. You know, I've written in them and uh, I've, I've, painted them, I've done all of my journaling and everything, and I am good. So it, it's just, we all want to do things. I, just, I don't want you to think that everything is perfect. I don't get to sit and do a full painting every time. And it's very rare because life is moving so quickly. So I just want you to know that if you just can do just a quick scribble, just a quick little thing, you're good. Um, take, a picture. take a picture, get to it later. I literally, you want to see something funny? I literally just wrote dog because there was a dog that I, that I in a story that I took pictures of and I didn't get a chance to, to do anything, but I want to tell that story. Oh God, so funny. I just wrote dog. And, and so sometimes you only have a that's minute or two. Funny. Sometimes you have a little more time and sometimes, you know, so just give yourself a break. I use post-its sometimes when I forget to put things in. I'll write it on a post-it and stick it in there to write more later. Post yeah, are, yeah. Post-its are my favorite, though. Um, Bites the Dusto says, I need to do watercolor for my school project, and your videos are so helpful. Oh, thank you. Hey, but one thug pug. Creative Cellist asks, and this is a loaded question, what's your favorite color, and how do you like to use it? Oh, it's definitely Payne's Gray, and I like to use it everywhere. I mean, it's it's in every single There is painting. not a painting yeah. in this sketchbook. It's a, not it's just, gray it's a it. bluish gray, and it is just so cool. I use it for everything. He's not kidding. Um, let's see. Greetings from the Philippines. It's 8.55 p.m. here in Kerala. I don't know where that is. You people have given me a couple of places geographically in recent days that I don't know where they are. You've stumped her. Yeah? Can you draw? Oh, a mermaid in the hair journal for mermaid. Um, yeah, see, mermaid was created by we know. this guy's brother. Tom Bancroft. Yeah, so I definitely should. Hi, Scott, I love your art. The hair ones are so good. That's Thank huge. you. Let's see. What's your favorite animal? Just wondering so I can draw it. That's Hello Bee. Cheetah. Um, Scott, you should do challenges. I, I've done he Inktober. A, well, and... he did for a long time too. And I think, didn't you invite everybody to draw along with you? That's, you know. Well, there's my challenges or, or other people's challenges. So. That's true. That's true. That's true. 
Oh, you guys are so great putting the art supply list in and everything. Thank you. Love you guys. Emma and Nixia and Bethany and Stefner. Thank you. I was drawing on my phone. Isn't that small? Okay, so there um, are, I forgot to, to do the bottles Rufa here. Says, I watched tutorials. Is that cheating? No, there's no such thing as cheating. Can you name your blow dryer Frederick? Mm, he's Roger Roger. Sorry. Um, oh, Kerala is in India. Thank you. Interesting. Scott, have you ever been to Canada? Have you ever painted slash been inspired by a landscape there? I have not. My wife doesn't want to go. She doesn't like Canada, and I don't know why. She's just, yes. she's got it out Meanwhile, for you. your wife's already been to Canada without you. Yeah, and doesn't want to go back, so something oh horrible God. must have happened oh to her God. there. I would totally go to Canada. I keep saying, well, you want to go to Canada? She goes, no. What? Every time I say, do you want to go to Canada? You, you say, never no. say, do I want to you go to Canada? You keep saying, you and my mom, you have something about Canada. Okay, and I don't know. just because my mother keeps saying, I want to go to Montreal. It, she won't so go then anywhere I else. Get, I get, I yes, can't go to Canada. To because of my mother. Do you see what I have to live with, Robin people? Robin says, I found your channel by watching the hair journal videos and then I watched more. Oh, thank you. Hi from Malaysia. A Hello. beard with a bunch of flowers in the hair journal, maybe. Do you have a favorite dog breed? We do. Rescue. <laughs> What's the worst watercolor paint set you've ever purchased? Oh, gosh. I don't know. It's probably some generic one. Um, Crystal, hello my friends. What do you do when you lose your passion in studying? My final exams are in a week. Stress surrounds me and I have no passion for studying. Oh, I don't You're, know. You have a case of burnout and you need to do a little something nice for yourself. Like maybe read a book or have a cup of hot chocolate or a cookie. Or hot chocolate something. fixes most things. Just As does a nice cup of tea. But... You just have to get through the exams and then you're done. So maybe give yourself something to look forward to on the other side of your exams too. Do something nice for yourself now, a little something, and then plan something that you really want to do for when your exams are over and hopefully that will get you through. Um, and I'm sorry, I still have to take exams. Uh, what do you think of anime, honey? I think it's great. Do you guys use white watercolor on white ink to mix or not? No, no, don't ever use white watercolor. If you want to make something white, use white gouache or leave it white on the paper. That's the general consensus. And white watercolor is not really very effective. Erica, oh, Erica says, Donna, hello, my hometown is Montreal. You are so offending. Just <laughs> I'm sorry, Erica. You She's know what? just a bad person. Erica just... and I will do a little girl's trip and we'll go to Montreal and she can show me all the cool places. Uh, my, my mom has just been, anyways, it, that's a... I'm just telling you, Donna's just not a nice story. person and she just has it out for Canadians. You are just like, if I could tattoo instigator on your <laughs> forehead, I would. <clears throat> Ryland says, Scott and Donna arguing about Canada. Me, sips tea. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Welcome to the crazies. Um, let's see. Midnight Meadows wants to know what kind of pets everybody has. I have two cute lop rabbits and a King Charles dog. Oh, oh rabbits. Cute. Oh, Tolkien Lover finished the Silmarillion. Did you like it? <laughs> you guys are cute. Like the droids in Star Wars, absolutely. We have not been to India. Scott was going to go for a movie. Yeah, we I, were I was going to go, and was, then that got sort of canceled. Yeah, I was writing and directing a film uh, based on an Indian comic book, and. Uh, <laughs> Links the artist got myself a blow dryer for my watercolors so I can go blow dryer when I use oh, my watercolors. I love it. And Richard's here and says good morning. Hey, Richard. Good morning, Richard. It's wonderful in Canada. Lauren, I apologize profusely. If <laughs> I have been to Canada, I appreciate it. 
I like it there. I don't we'll think she appreciates it enough, though. You know what? Will you just shut up? <laughs> People are going to think I hate Canada because of you and your big fat mouth. Stop it. <laughs> Jeez Louise. And you've never been. I've been, at least. I've wanted to go all you my know life. What? I swear to God, when we are done with this life, I'm going to strangle you. That's what's going to happen. So if we're not here tomorrow, you'll know why. Well, one place we won't be is Canada, apparently. <laughs> Good grief. Could you probably explain what copying art is actually? Like, if I draw anything watching your art, is it cheating or copying? No, 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 no. Look, um, art is meant to be copied, studied, learned. Uh, if you were to make an exact copy of this, that's you making exact copy. It's because you liked it, because this picture meant something to you and you wanted to see what you could do. I'm flattered. It's the only thing, and again, it's not cheating to do that. It is not cheating to say that this is yours, to copy it and say that it's yours. It's just dishonest. Cheating would imply rules. So just understand, you can copy the Mona Lisa. You can copy you know, a Norman Rockwell painting. That's what they're there for. Just the, the nice thing to do, and not everybody's nice, but the nice thing to do is to say, I copied this from this person, that's all. No, you really can't do watercolors on canvas because watercolors need to soak into something, like paper. Okay, can you just paint and not read comments because that's my job, otherwise I can go upstairs. I was talking and therefore I just happened to be looking down. Well, don't look down. Your eye tutorials helped Andrea. Oh, great, thank you. Um, you should draw dinosaurs if you haven't already. Let's see. But obviously it's bad if you make money off of it with permission, right? Without permission, I'm assuming you meant. Um, well, they said with, but. No, if you get permission to do it, then someone's giving you permission to make money off of it. Uh, but, um, mm -hmm. No, it's, I, I will say this. If, if you copied my painting and then went off and made a million dollars off of my copy, I'd feel a little hurt. Like, why didn't anybody buy the original, <laughs> you know? And I think that's the whole point is, is just your, um, I put time into it to make this piece of art and therefore um you know a, another artist copying it and not giving credit just it's it's a it's a personal thing there's no legal thing now again i can say that this image can be copywritten but i i haven't copywritten it so um again i think a lot of people think they, they mix up what's legal and what's just being a good person and uh, copying is completely acceptable. Being a good person is giving credit to who you copied. I hope that makes sense. But there's no laws that says you can't copy anything. There are copyright laws if someone has copywritten their artwork. But even so, you would have to make a direct duplicate of it. Um, let's see. Scott's been drawing since he was about six or seven, and I saw Tolkien Lover. You didn't even without permission. We get, we got that. Um, would you go back to doing art for comics if you got the opportunity? I don't think so, <laughs> honestly. I I kind of got that out of my system, and um, I don't think there's really anything I, I I I'm missing. Let's see. Scott's dad was not artistic. Um, he was mechanical. He was very engineering minded. Um, let's see, thank you for giving us hope and help. Oh, my pleasure. Um, um, Chonk is taking a digital art class today, my first art class. Oh, that's great. Oh, I want to visit Switzerland big time, yes. Maple syrup in black tea is amazing. Um, I will take your word for 
that. I've never tried that. I listened to Seal last night while I was drawing and he was pretty good. Yeah, I, thank you. Thank you. I'm uh, telling you. What do you think about a steampunk pirate? I think that's very cool. Um, if this is a travel journal, where is it from? This is uh, the Frothy Monkey in Franklin, Tennessee, downtown Franklin. Uh, I was meeting my friend for uh, coffee and I don't drink coffee, so I just was hanging out. And he was the lead animator of Kronk from The Emperor's New Groove. And so everybody kept asking him to do a sketch of Kronk from The Emperor's New Groove. All right. Um, let's see. Um, Scott has a whole video on um, finding inspiration when you feel stuck. Um, yeah, look for a video called Artist Block or how to deal with Artist Block. When did you get an interest in art? Um, I generally or initially when I was five or six and then seriously when I got into high school and started taking art classes. What is that blue color highlight on the name? I don't see a name. Yeah, I don't know what blue color you're asking about, Loki, unofficial. Um, oh, Sophia Marina says, yesterday was my birthday and I was so grateful for cleaning it out. My sister got me these zebra brush pens. Oh, that's great. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. All right. What's your favorite art style? Um, it would probably be either Art Nouveau or the Pre-Raphaelite movement. What? Um, I'm getting text too. Blue names are the mods. If that's what you're asking about, the names that are highlighted in blue with a little wrench next to them, those are our mods. Okay. Blow dryer. <laughs> Also, um, I kind of got bored of this. It's not 100% done, and so I'm just moving down here. And then later on, I might come in and add some more highlights and fill in some more little spots. But that's just me being honest with, this isn't really done. <laughs> um, let's see. When you put watercolor on ink, how doesn't the ink <coughs> get all messed up? Well, this is a zebra brush pen, and they are waterproof. Um, Scott has done an Indian shaman in the hair journal. And you can see that video in the playlist. Yeah, here's, here's the... Andrea says I have a memory journal and I started it since because of you, because you inspired me. Oh, that's great. What project of yours are you the most proud of? Um, the Dreamland Chronicles. It's a comic book series that I did um, for about 14 years and uh, it was eight books and it was a web comic and I really liked it. Have you ever had your work stolen online? Yeah, because all the time. I've seen people get more likes than original artists and they don't give credit. Yeah, all the time, all the time. I mean, I, I have, I've seen my work as t-shirts and prints and pillows and everything else and there's really not much you can do about it. Think about this. If Disney can't stop it, you're not gonna be able to stop it. They try. Yeah. All, all you could do is put your artwork out there and hopefully enough people know who the original artist is. And it's like you don't see Mickey Mouse and think that that person created Mickey Mouse. You know it's a ripoff because you know who Disney is. And I would hope that the same thing would happen. Um, if you see my work, you'll recognize my work mm -hmm. rather than believing that it was somebody else's. Scott did copy, um, he did 60 Days of the Masters where he copied the Masters in his own style. Yeah. And you can check the playlist for his videos there. Blow dryer. <laughs>
starting work on painting because I don't really get it. That's Alexis. When painting... Oh, thank you, Midnight Meadows. Uh, for me, I think the... Um, I like doing the layering with water with uh, blow drying in between, so that way they don't blend together. I like kind of giving myself hard lines. That's just something that I kind of discovered on my own. I would never say I invented it. I said that's just something I discovered on my own. But um, you see how the the pink isn't blending with the yellows there. I'm giving it's giving me a nice hard line. Um, Shamaida is going on a trip soon and I think I'm going to start a travel journal. Oh, that's great. I think you're going to have a great time doing that. Um, Jen smells really nice. <laughs> says, Hi, I've come across your videos recently and you've inspired me to practice so much more and break out my old gouache paints. Thanks for the inspo and tips. Oh, I love gouache. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. What is your least favorite color? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I would probably, I'm trying to, I don't see, like, if it's my least favorite, it's not going to be on my palette, mm -hmm. but, um, um, don't trip over the shoe I threw at you. And what would you do if an eye or facial expression doesn't turn out like you wanted it to? Um, either redo the whole piece or erase it. Or if I can't erase it, then try to fix it in the painting. Hi, Rupa. Hi, Bites. Let's see. The most underrated art form, in, in my opinion. Um, I think... The, I don't know. See, it's hard to tell what's underrated. Um, like, I know underrated artists, but underrated art form... Yes, we have watched Stranger Things. Blow dryer. I think I prefer warmer colors. Um, the blow dryer is actually in a holster on the side of the art table that our son made for him. Um, any tips for doing highlights? Um, yeah, I mean, I, you try to, with watercolor, you try to leave the highlights. Um, you, you try to leave the spots where the highlights are going to be. Um, but I, I will usually come back with a little bit of some some gel white pen or something like that or maybe some uh, ink or gouache um we think india is beautiful and we would like to visit someday yeah um to the best of my knowledge you've never drawn any white house have you no All right. Blow dryer. Biscuit is here for the first time. Uh, welcome. Welcome. Um, let's see. Uh, God, there's so many places we would like to visit. Have you ever watched the Spiderwick Chronicles? Um, I don't I've think heard so. Of them, but no, I haven't seen it. Have you ever done a video on character design, or have you done character design and concept art? I want to be a character designer or concept artist. So any tips? I used to do character design back in my video game days, but um, no, I haven't done a video on it. Yeah. I would I would recommend looking <laughs> at Carter Goodrich. He was he was the uh, the character designer um, we had for Animal Crackers, mm -hmm. and he is amazing. He's ridiculous. He's so good. 
Um, can you do an Avengers sketchbook or even Dune? Um, I have done a bunch of Avengers stuff. There should be a video, like in the go look at look in the the time lapse video. But yes, I could try doing something like that. Andrew says um, sometimes it's hard to find the original artist. Not gonna lie. True. True. Like I said, I'm guilty of that too. Every once in a while, I will work on something and I cannot find the photographer or the model because it's the, the picture I've got is so old. Midnight Meadows pets are Lucy, Lexi, and Lola. I and love that. And they left that. us a tip, which is very nice. Yes, not thank nice. you. Um, I use watercolors as the lining. I use a pencil on top of the paint instead of ink because ink pops out too much for my style, but perhaps there are better alternatives you would suggest. Um, I would need to see the some of the work, but um, colored pencils might be a good alternative mm -hmm. with the watercolors. Thanks for helping me not be bored in class since I have to work. <laughs> My pleasure. Just don't get in trouble. Um, if our mods answer a question for you, the people in blue, if they answer a question, please know that they're answering because they are actually friends of ours and they know us very well. And so um, they're answering for us since I there's 213 of you and yeah. I just can't see everything. So they're helping. Blow dryer. Midnight Meadows had to bunny-proof their house. Aww. Um, have you ever painted with natural materials, for example, blueberries or purple? No, I have not. Jeffrey says, hi Scott, my anxiety spikes when painting in public. I stop after the sketch. Is it bad practice to take a photo for painting later at home, like for realistic colors? No, it is great practice. What do you think I'm doing here? I did this sketch for at least a month ago. Because after that we went to Florida, and these are my sketches from Florida. I didn't even get a chance to finish the, the, the get to inking or anything. I just took a picture and I'll do them later. Who's your favorite artist? Oh, um, probably either John Buscema, who's a comic book artist, or Drew Struzan, um, Alphonse Mucha. It's hard to pick just one. Four minutes and then I have to okay out. yeah so again for those of you who are late um, not late for those of you well for those of you who just got here uh, we had a power outage and so we didn't get a chance to start anything original so um, Donna's got a meeting in a little bit so this was just kind of a short live uh, just to say hi and working in my sketchbook so uh, obviously when we see you on Wednesday, barring any more power outages, uh, I will be doing something original, I promise. Akshara says, hey, I'm starting a new sketchbook. Any tips? Um, have fun. That's it, that's it. Just, if you, if you see what I'm doing here, uh, this was based on a sketch um, I did a month ago. Give yourself the ability to walk away when you don't have the time. There's no rules. You, you know, your sketchbook doesn't have to be in any particular order. You don't have to finish a page at a certain point. Um, okay, Lycan Wolf says, would you do watercolor tutorials? Uh, yes, there are some in the uh, art hacks folder. And Koa says, any tips for watercolor faces, which I think you've shown in your art hacks? Yes. Um, That is not going to dry in time, so I'm going to have to let that go. Um, that kind of says, pulled up. Scott, what a nice piece for today's stream. I'm currently preparing for my final exam. Wish me luck. If oh, good nice luck. I hope you have a wonderful day. And thank you to Tulsi for the gift. Yeah, that was not necessary, but thank you. Um, 
there is an um, in the art hacks playlist scott has one on um being motivated to draw okay let's see Um, Chong the Bandos is getting a travel journal with a compass on the cover. It looks really cool for my trip to Arizona and future travels. That's really cool. I love it that. Sounds like fun. Yeah. I was gifted a journal that I'm going to be using that has a map on the front of it that makes me very excited to take on future adventures. Oh no, Annabelle says my travel journal got lost in moving. Oh, oh. no. I will say this, if you can, if you finish a sketchbook or a travel journal, scan in the pages just in case. Um, have you ever had a nightmare and tried to encapsulate it in one of your paintings? I tried, but it didn't come out very good. Um, let's see. Oh yes, Nixie is reminding us about the Kickstarter. Oh yes, how many days? I think there's only like 10 days left on the Kickstarter. I think so, yeah. Um, so these are the prints. Yep. And there's like a, like a negative of it on the back. And there is, I think, 10 days left to get the entire set. Chonk, yes, I do remember you. I tend to shorten the names. If your name's really long, I'll shorten them if I remember you. That's my my little love to you. I will shorten your name because I know I know you. Oh, nightmare! No, 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 <laughs> no. Uh, I I don't want to draw feet. In case you didn't see the comment, nightmare likes to draw hands. I just I saw. Think it's hysterically oh. funny. So yeah, so if you guys, uh, there is a Kickstarter, there's a link in the bio for it. Uh, and mm -hmm. it's a really cool set. And right now there is an 11th one that you're getting for free. And I think we might make enough to get the 12th one, uh, yeah. which is, this is the 11th. Mm -hmm. Knox, he still doesn't prefer to draw out of his head. He prefers and this to is the 12th. Reference. The furry Milo sent you a drawing on Instagram. Oh, thank you. Yep. And I have to go, honey. Yes. I literally have to okay. go. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Donna's got to run. Guys, I've got a meeting at eleven, and that was really bad planning on my part. No, it's just it was just the power outage. Nobody plans so, for a power outage. So. Bye, everybody. We will see you Wednesday, and um. Nine yes, there there is a video problems. on watercolor pencils. Yes. Barring any more power outages, um, if you have more questions, you can yeah leave it. You can leave a comment on, on the live video. It'll post yep. as soon as I shut this off, exactly. and I will try to answer it. Yep. Thank you, mods, and so we will much, see you all thanks, again. Mods. Sorry for the short day. Thanks, guys. Thanks for everything. Everybody have a great day.